So let's do a quick trade in Davinia in and out. In and done. And I know there's a couple, well, we'll look when we're done here, a few earnings this week, but I think they're late. Alex hears me, that's good. This isn't waiting for us. It's going already. Pep was today, but a nothing burger? I didn't even see it, so it must have been a nothing burger. All right, here we go. Remember, this is a long. Don't get confused. We're going long today. NVIDIA is gapping up. It's higher. Let's just give this a few seconds. Oh, the market's higher too. Any other ideas right in the room? Where is not ready. Let me look at the spy quick. Time of the day is 9.30. What is today, October? Is today October 8th or 9th? Five, six, seven. Today's the 8th. Woo, how many days till the election? It's close. Should count it. Okay, spy is stuck. It's less than 30. Um, I am talking and I don't know what to say, Tom. Here we go, NVIDIA. Stock's gonna be 20. Let's do 30, right here, you could do it right now. Stop's 20, you could do it right in here. 130, stop's 20, here we go, NVIDIA long. For some reason, Tom can't hear me, but I'm speaking. I'm talking. Can everybody hear me? Here we go. You can do it if you want. 30. Here we go. Here we go. 30 by 20. 30 by 20. NVIDIA. 30 by 20. Boom. There's a couple people coming in late. Don't forget. Cutoff is 920. 131 in a flurry and we're going to be out. Look at the volume in this already. 9.32. 9.32 and look at the volume. Here we go, NVIDIA. We're going to be out of everything super, super, super. We're going to be out of everything so fast this week. You're not even going to know what to, you're not even going to be able to blink. Until earnings season anyways. Until earnings season. Oops. Now, one person doesn't have sound. I don't know why. Everybody else can hear me, I guess. Uh, let's just move the stop. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but let's just give it 10 more cents here. 10 more cents, just, just in case, even though I don't think we should need it. Again, one day we will go back to shorting. Hopefully this week.
Here we go. Here it goes. Okay, 39 was the high. Time of the day is 9.34. Here we go, NVIDIA. Here we go. Here we go. Let it flow up. 131. 131 in the push, and we're going to be out. Beautiful. Here it goes. But we're lucky we had this, or we'd have nothing to do today. Nothing. So we're really lucky we had this. But you could be out. Where did we go? 75. We almost got there. Come on. One more push. Not taking any chances today. 935. Oh, this is so jumpy. It's very jumpy. And the market's higher, so... Anybody still in this? Anybody got out? Get out. We could have got out. It was close. Got it had to be fast. I didn't though. Anyone get out of the Nvidia? Anyone still in Nvidia with me? What's everyone doing? Just have to wait now. If you're still in it. Hello, is anyone there? Who's in Nvidia with me? Who got out? Allison, you didn't do it? You didn't do it? Why? Why? You're half asleep. Oh, that's bad. Don't trade when you're half asleep. Or sick. Jeff D's in it. Rar didn't do it. Ooh. Here we go, Nevaeh. Nobody liked it but me. Interesting. It's me and Jeff. The Lone Rangers. Here we go. One flurry up. If it doesn't get over 75, I'm out. If it gets over it, one more push, and I'm going to be out wherever it goes. Let's go. Time of the day is 9.36. Market's going to go green today. Market's higher. Every time the market tries to fall, it never does. So let it go. It's going to rip up. It's setting up to do it. It's taking forever. It's been in a range for days and days and weeks and years, but it's going to go higher. So it's just here. Boom. Nvidia. Hand in the butt here, Nvidia. Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't have looked away for a second. Did it get over 131? 93. Damn it, can't look away for a second. Here, we're getting it. We're gonna get it. Come on, Bootsy. still in it shorts are so much easier can we go back to shorting tomorrow <laughs> can we please go back to shorting no, i'm still in it you got i mean you want the push you gotta wait but you could be out you got the bar oh how funny allison did it and got out in one second how funny Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I could just get out of it here. I don't even know why I'm putting myself through this agony for 20 cents. I just thought it was going to push Flurry up like way over it. Any questions from anyone about anything? I'm still in Avinia. Some people didn't do it. Some people and didn't get out. I was gonna get out. And again, it's this is what longs are like. They're very whippy, very wild, take a long time to go. That's why we prefer to short. Hopefully we will get some good shorts this week. Hopefully. Anything out tonight? Does anybody, Jackie, do you know what's out tonight? I'm still in it. I missed my exit. The second time around, I missed it. What's out tonight, Jackie? You know? Should have just got out of it in the 80s. Nothing tonight. Today is Tuesday. Nothing tomorrow morning. What about tomorrow night? Is there anything this week? I thought there was a couple things this week. One more push and I'm really going to be out of this for real. Here we go. This is it. Come on. This is a nice trade. Just trying to get it over 131. Is there anything at all before Friday? <laughs> Or not. I'll have to come up with some lectures then if it's going to be that slow of a week. Dallas Thursday. All right, that's something to watch. In the morning or night? Well, that means we can watch our favorite BA. Thursday morning is down. That means we can watch all the airlines. That gives us something to do. So tomorrow, I'll think of a lecture for tomorrow unless we get something out of nowhere. Market is higher and going to go green. Uh, give me a ticker symbol, Sabina. Sabina's mentioning the hurricanes. It's like a hurricane every two days in Florida right now or something. I don't know. That's rough for people down there. It's very rough. Give me a ticker symbol for insurance. I'll look at it. Friday is JPM. I thought it was next week. Let's look. Since when is the earnings before Columbus Day? I don't remember that. Well, the banks are falling right now. That's probably making it difficult for the market to move up. I don't know why they're down today. Does anyone know why this is down?
So I wanted to get out of everything fast this week that we did. I could just get out of this here, but I was up more earlier. So hard to be patient with longs. Let's check on our Oracle. There's another one. Okay, I'm in the and I'm waiting. Is everybody else out but me? Just me and Jeff D. Uh, yeah, Jackie, I'll send him out an email about that. Jeff D's still in it. Jeff D and me. Any questions while we're waiting for this NVIDIA? Missed, missed two morning exits here. So got to get back in a habit here, the fast, fast trades. But I had my shot. I thought, it, I think it's still going to get over 131, but it's not right now. Market's struggling a little bit here with the banks falling, but I don't think the banks are going to collapse. Don't think the market's going to collapse. Market's had a lot of chances to collapse and it never wants to do it. it just never wants to do it. So, um, do we have a number at 945? Does anybody know? Looks like we just had some kind of number. The election's a long way away for the market. It's 100 years away as far as the market's concerned. Less than 30, which seems close, but in reality, as far as the market goes, it's like 100 years away. There's so many reports between now and then. Earnings, it's like it's like 100 years away. It's November, so it's so far away for the market to be concerned about the election. Even though in reality, it does seem like it's going fast. So we'll watch our favorites uh, Thursday. And I think BA is, BA is either next week or the next week. I think BA is in two weeks. I'll have to look that up. I think BA is not next week, but the following week. I have to look it up. Netflix is next next week that's the big one too here we go nvidia one day i will get out it's going to be soon here we go we have a number 10. okay Nine forty-eight. I should have got out of this earlier, but I was sort of waiting for the market. And the market's struggling right now, but I think it's higher, so could take till 
11 o'clock, 12 o'clock lunchtime. I don't think it's going to take till lunchtime. I think the market's going to move up today. Any questions? Anybody want to go over anything? Jeff D and me are in this. Everybody else got out or didn't do it. Nvidia is strong. Nvidia is higher. Uh, we're lucky we had this to do today. Um, and I don't know if we're going to get anything tomorrow. Certainly look and watch and see what happens today. Because, <coughs> of course, there could be some nice longs tomorrow, actually, if we get some extension today. But again, Thursday morning looks like we are going to have some things to watch with the airlines. We don't know what they're going to do, <clears throat> but it'd be nice to get back in a, in a short mode. Anybody want to go over anything? Any questions? I'm up in this trade, just waiting for it to push. I mean, this is another thing that's just not going down. Not going down and going up. Um, what did I mean by watching my favorites? BA is our fit, one of our favorites. And since Dal is an airline and reports Thursday morning, BA will go probably in the sector. This is one of our favorites, favorite stocks to trade. We've had a million shorts in it this year. We've had a million shorts in it for a number of years. And so it definitely is one of our favorites and should have followed through last week and didn't. And we just, you know, can wait for the earnings on this, which is soon, but somebody look up the date, when are the earnings on this? But, but, but this is gonna have some kind of move on Thursday with down so it's good we didn't do another trade in it this week because if dal is up that'll be up but but for sure for sure for sure we'll, we'll be watching ba if i'm not going to trade like now do i move my stop loss no and if i had put it at break even i would have been taken out like five six minutes ago so i should have got out i mean i should have got out right away so i didn't It, it was right there. looked like it was going to run up. I also should have got out because I'm on Ameritrade today. I'm on Schwab or whatever. I'm on Schwab in like an hour and I'm not ready and didn't do my hair and makeup. So I should have got out for that reason. But again, longs are so tricky. You think it's going to go and then it just has a big fat red bar. Shorts are easier. They're just easier. They're easier to trade. They're easier to enter. They're easier to exit. They're just easier, period. We've had some longs. This is one of them we've been doing because we haven't had anything else to do because it's been non-earning season. We're looking for trades, just anything that we I can predict the directional bias, which in this case here has been up. Like if I was here yesterday, I might have done this yesterday. But the fact is that this is something that normally we would just get out very, very quick. And some of you did. I just missed my exit on this. But I, I didn't move my stop. And if I had, I would have been taken out with no money. And I'm back up here again, so I should have just got out of it. I could still get out of it now. I'm up. But I was sort of waiting for the market. So I think the market lifts. So I was kind of like thinking that this, that the video would just keep going because I wanted this to keep going. And this is going to keep going. Got a couple minutes here. I'd like to get out of this by 10. Then I can get ready for my hit and call it a day. It's higher though. Here we go, NVIDIA. Let's go. Things are whippy in the morning, Sabina, so I rather than move your stop, I would just get out. Have the fast move get out. Because you can move your stop and then you could be up and move your stop to save yourself from the stop and then the trade goes on to work 
and then you lose and it goes on to work anyway. So you're better off just getting out of it in the first move up, which I normally do. Again, longs are hard, but we're still getting the trade. So let's see if the market's going to rip up today. Let's see if it's really, 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 really going to do it. If it's going to go, it's going to explode. It tried to do it a couple of days ago, last week on Friday. And then this thing, that thing, the other thing, whatever. This market never wants to fall. As far as I'm concerned, it's just never going to fall again. I mean, I would love it to fall. I, I, you just you wait for it to fall. At a cer certain point, you just say, okay, it's just never going to fall. Because no bad news, nothing that happens, nothing at all ever makes the market sell off. <laughs> so it's just not a port strike, not, you know, negative economic news, even though they fudge it. Not a war. Market didn't really react to that. Oil prices did, but the market pretty much did it. So, you know. That guy said we should get back to watching oil. Although, talk about something wild to trade. Look, this is down today. We could have done a put in this. this these things are wild to trade, though. We can get back to watching oil. We could, have, we could have done that today. I just didn't even think of it this morning, actually. We could have shorted CVX today, actually. We could have had our short today. We could have done that. Just didn't even register with me because I like the NVIDIA and I like the market higher today. But we could have, we could have done oil. We, we got to get back to watching that. Jackie, start to remind me about that because that's something we got to keep on our radar. Lots of machines in the video. This is kind of reminding me of the Mew, but it's going. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that Netflix. Look at that. <laughs> hate to get out of this here when I was up like 60 cents more but it's a positive trade for the week anybody want to go over anything I know you didn't do anything yesterday I think that was fine and again, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but we do have things to watch for Thursday and Friday, which is great. Um, and we have some data. I'll have to look it up what data we have out towards end of the week. I don't think anything is really huge this week. I think the market's just going to be all about earnings season from now on until the election. Unless something dramatic happens overseas, which could, but again, the market doesn't seem to be react reacting much. We have troops overseas now, and the market isn't really reacting. It's pretending we're not really involved in the war, but we basically are, so I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of interesting. Things don't always do what you think they're going to do, news-wise. And sometimes things don't make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense that BA hasn't fallen off a cliff yet, but it may do it on earnings. And maybe that's why it didn't fall off a cliff last week. And it just kind of dawned on me about that over the weekend. I'm like, maybe this really was never going to go anywhere until the earnings because the earnings are so close. So, again, buyers and sellers and everybody in the world is probably waiting for the Boeing earnings. 
So we're, we're just going to stay away from that probably unless we do a quick day trade in that Thursday until the earnings. Some of these things are really pricey though. Netflix, Meta, some of these stocks have just gotten really expensive. NVIDIA is cheap now compared to some of these. Here we go, NVIDIA. Here we go up. Here's the market. So let it rip. Again, things are moving. Very tricky. Here we go, NVIDIA. Woo! There, I'm going to get it. There, there, there. Out. Done. Woo! We did it. <laughs> Fabulous. Got our revenge. Jeff D is out too. Woo. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Let's have a great week. Let's have a good week. Watch everything. If you're in options today, watch them all. The market's higher. We can't be in denial. All right, sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, here it goes. Woo! You're welcome.